what is up fellow critics darn out back at it again with another review and reaction for you guys so today we're going to be doing the expanse season two episode two uh what happened last episode so that little safe that they had come to find out it had that freaking material in it the goo they decided to take it off the ship but they're gonna hide it for a future use just in case that they can find a cure for it someone can develop a, a you know a cure for this with it so we met a new character her name is uh, sergeant uh draper she is a martian marine and they're actually uh on a mission to go to the phoebe station and the un top guy i keep forgetting his name sorry about that uh he doesn't want anyone at that phoebe station he don't want anyone figuring out if there's anything left behind so he tries to you know start some conflict between mars and the u.n to at least get the u.n out there and, and stop uh mars from going into the phoebe station and other places as well called it called you know created some problems they ended up mars ended up blowing up phoebe station because they don't want the u.n getting there and seeing what's all up in there i guess they want to keep their business to themselves uh oh, man it's crazy freaking naomi and, and holding got it on what do it i think the earth and mars whole conflict is just getting getting worse and worse and worse and then christian she is trying to you know figure out what's going on with the un guy and seeing what he's up to and what he's hiding so before we start this episode make sure you please like share and subscribe to cinema critics let's go ahead and start this episode up bb station was a joint facility run by an earth corp the only intel saying it was abandoned came from mars and now two-thirds of their fleet is heading for earth you think that's just a training exercise uh to their terraforming efforts if we threaten to shut them it's down a trade embargo no, what we need to do is order the Nathan Hale to take out the Sirocco now. If go well, she just sent him. You want us to attack a Martian moon? Wow. It's a declaration of war. What are we doing? It's the case, Admiral. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask No you. need to pretend this is a request, sir. Oh, he's stepping down. I stepped down as fleet commander. Ooh. I don't know why she sent him that. Why... Why did she send him that information to, to do it? I'm not 100% sure with that one. What was she's playing at with that one? Because it's just going to make things worse if they destroy this freaking station. This moon. It's going to make things so much worse. I don't know. Better hurry up, dude. Better hurry up. Oh, damn. That hurt. So you still rocking a, rocking a necklace. We're on arrows. We barely got out alive. And the only reason we're here now is to see if you want to do something about it. Oh, okay. With something new, a life form, possibly mm. extrasolar in origin. Eros is an experiment on belters. Everybody down there is dead, they're dying, they're being studied like bugs under a microscope. Oh, it's so bad. If you'd seen what's happening on Eros, you'd be right there with us. But you would die for a belt. Do you believe everything you guys say you're fighting for? Yeah, are you fighting for it? Yeah, yeah, Johnson. All that talk you'd be talking about OPA and the belt, you know, freedom for the belt, people and all this stuff. Now, if you don't do this... All that talk is for Jack. You know, they're sitting there experimenting on these people. And this is supposed to be your people. People you're fighting for. If you don't do anything about it, then what's the point of talking? So, I wonder if he's going to help. Because they're going no matter what. And they infected arrows. is because it's got the poorest belters in the system, right? The ones mm. no one gives a shit about. Are you about. trying to make yourself feel bad about this? We could have filled the Rossi with people, but we didn't. So it looks like Alex is a little guilty. A little guilty for not saving people. What kind of people are we that we only help? <laughs> he bounced on him. The old man said he'd buy me drinks if I sit here and listen to you. Wow. Oh, oh well, hey, what's your name? 100 out of 10,000 rounds. If Alex burned 2,800 just getting out the donut, we may have a problem. 40 millimeter spanner, please. Where the hell do we get more when we run out? 
and that's that it's a good point where the hell are they gonna get their ammo from stupid kids with opa tests and big ideas i got involved in something ah. innocent people died so i said never again she was running with pa at least i don't know if she's a member of it but she was running with him the sense you know what's going on with us i mean amos in particular we can make a public Announcement, get everyone on the same page or take out an ad. No. Yo, Amos is gonna be pissed. Mmm, jealous. I'm so jealous. OPA. And here's OPA. Oh. You, you're just an earth plane belter. We don't oh. need you giving us orders. Me and mine? We just had a UN drone on her. Came just close to wasting that whoop of us. Oh, all. this was the guy, okay. That took it, tried to take out uh, Christian. Oh, it's time. Oh! Yo, Johnson don't play. Oh, no, no, no! No, he's about to chuck him out. Yo, bye bye. Damn. Anyone else? We're going after those who kill Eros. Tell that to your factions. I need 50 good fighters. Send your best. Hey, at least we know that, hey, Johnson, he's down to take out, you know, the people who who did that to Eros. He's down. And you see there's some conflict between OPA. I guess there's some uh, people who thinks Johnson doesn't deserve to be leading uh, people on the, you know, OPA members on the Tycho station. Um, but he's like, yo, we need to take these people out in arrows. Stop worrying about Christian right now and, you know, hacking drones to take her out. We need to worry about what they just did. All these belters, you know? Ooh, look at that. Oh, let's go. Oh, no. Son of a bitch. Come on, Alex, you got this. I'm smuggled. Who enjoys playing with life and death on her pictures or a snake in a sorry with dead eyes and a poison tongue? <laughs> oh my god, despite your delusions to the contrary, you, Madame Undersecretary, may be the worst person I have ever met. Nice, tell me how you really feel. Colonel Johnson wasn't told that they'd surrendered, if he knew, he would have never called that strike in. Oh, really? Why wasn't he told? Because the powers that be wanted to send a message to the belt. The medal on his chest for Anderson Station. He was a hero to Earth and despised everywhere else, all based on a lie. But you know what? He never said a word. Didn't even try to clear his name. Just walked away. Holy crap. So, it comes to find out, Johnson didn't know that they were trying to surrender until after the fact he wasn't told that they wanted to make sure that it was taken out so that the belters could get in line and then he found out about it and was like y'all i'm out forget this and that's why he went to opa wow Wow, this is crazy how that just changed the whole <laughs> the whole thing. It just changed that whole thing. Wow. No traces back to me. I talk want to friend. talk to Fred Johnson. Ooh, man. Hopefully she can uh, not get caught doing that. Louder. We put these cans together in a hurry. <laughs> FedEx. <laughs> oh my God, FedEx is still around. Away from the aqua. Stay away from the aqua. Star Helix. What you doing here? Oh! Oh, that's what's his face! Oh, that's the kid, yeah. So someone did scoop him up. This is a legal notification that we are on approach to a loose cargo container and have filed a salvage claim. Any interference with our property will result in civil action. Oh, that's a good idea. Well, hey, that's our stuff. Don't don't mess with it. Oh man, I'm just so pumped for this. Woo! Good job! Oh, come on, dodge it! Oh! 
shit. Oh, that was super close. Holy crap. Watch out for that rail gun. Yo. Hang on. Come on, Amos, you got it. Fix that thruster. Watch some damn freaking on the FedEx. <laughs> we got some packages for you. <laughs> you gotta like these packages. Oh no, come on, Amos. Relax. Grab onto something. Oh my god, this is so intense. Oh no. Oh my god. We lost the pod. Oh my gosh. Woo! Surprise, assholes! Oh, nice. Turn him, tearing him up. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, buddy. Good job, Alex. Oh, nice. Here's our next Phoenix surprise for you. Kind of empty. Like nobody home, maybe. Oh! Holy shit! Where'd he get hit? Wait, what? There's a Joe around. Wait, what? Hey. Looks like code. Oh, don't break it. Oh! What the hell's going on? Oh! No, don't keep one, dude! Everybody stay here. Everybody move. <laughs> stop, stop killing people. Oh, really? Wait, that's the one guy, right? Oh, they're maybe they're working on the, um... The what's it called? You. Oh, he's gonna kill him. Have we met? Oh. Good, don't kill him. <laughs> Organism that can repurpose other life forms and use them to evolve. Into what? That's yeah. what we're trying to find out. <laughs> we become our own gods. Imagine <laughs> human beings able to live in hard vacuum without a suit or under the crushing atmosphere of a gas giant or able to hibernate long enough to travel to the stars. The data will erase itself if anyone other than me tries to decrypt it. Without this work, humanity will be left unarmed, ignorant, vulnerable to an enemy who has already fired the first shot. Now we're about to fire them shots. We're gonna need complete access to the data. Oh! As well as the names of everyone responsible for setting this in motion. Done. Oh! Miller! Damn! Mills like, nah, we ain't playing like that. Yeah, oh, Miller's like, nah, f that. Oh, <laughs> holy crap! Holy crap! Oh, man, what a great episode! Oh, what a great episode! So, so they found the ship that left Eros. They still tracked it, and they tracked it to the station. Probably thought, right? So. They tracked it to there and they're trying to they got a crew boom got the crew okay and they want to they gotta get in close so i like the idea how they used to get in close they you know they had the freighter they had the 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 rossi behind it and they're like oh that's a piece of our cargo that went off let me don't mess with it that's ours don't touch it you know so <laughs> they booted up the rossi started you know tacking Oh man, Alex did a great job. Alex did a great job. Um, well, holy crap, holy crap, that that battle was awesome. That battle was crazy. So they get on the ship, empty. So this whole thing was just like a research station, just the research. You know the the proto molecule. You know, and now we know why. Why are they doing this? Why are they doing this? So they want to evolve the human being 
to be able to live, you know, you know, just to, to be able to live without airlocks and, and be live anywhere, pretty much. They evolved the human, you know, human beings, you know, and they keep on saying that this was sent here. The target was Earth for this to go. Now, did it, was it, did something send it or it send itself? I don't know. But they keep saying this was sent here and the target was Earth. But I understand why Miller killed him. And I understand why Johnson didn't want to kill him. You know, at first I thought Johnson and Holden were going to kill him. Then I thought I'm like, okay, well, they can get at least all the people involved. At least get that. Then you understand. Then you can swerve him later. You know, people are already... Plus, this guy already set it up where you can't get the data at all. So you can't even cur curate a cure. So at least, all right, you know, you can still work on it, but we're going to oversee it and you're going to work on it to sort of keep people alive. Not, we're not testing people anymore, but you would still be able to use this data, right? Then you can, we'll get all the other people involved. We make sure we take them down. Makes sense. But Miller's thinking like, no, all these people died on Eros. Julie Mao died because of this. You know, if we do this, her life does mean nothing. You know, all the people who died because of this means nothing. You know, we need to take revenge for the people who did this to them and her. So that's why Miller shot homeboy in the head. You know, he's responsible. People higher up are responsible. I mean, he what he could have done is try to get the names first and then cap them. But, oh, well, you know, he, he sees him as definitely the one responsible for this whole thing. But holy crap. Holy crap. Crap, I'm not trying to be too loud because it's kind of late right now, so I can't be too loud, but holy crap, what a great episode. Oh, I love that episode. The freaking battles, the little pods that they, the pods and they dress it up as FedEx as shipments and stuff. Oh, that's awesome. I love this show. Guys, I'm hooked. I'm hooked. This show's awesome. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I completely forgot about uh, Christian, how she found out that freaking Johnson did not really, like he was swerved on taking out Anderson Station. He was swerved. He he didn't know that they were trying to surrender, you know? So now Christian's trying to go talk to Johnson, trying to have like a, a secure line to talk to him and, and find out, hey, you know, what's really going on? And maybe he'll tell her what's going on with all this. Maybe he'll, he'll explain the whole situation that's going on now, not just what happened at Anderson Station. So. Ooh, can't wait till next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you thought of the episode. Did you like it? Did you not? Anything I missed or did not understand, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you please like, share, and subscribe to Cinema Critics. We'll catch you on the next episode. Peace out.